Without a family, man, alone in the world, trembles with the cold. When the Old One was awakened, the deep fog spread over the world, and from the fog came demons, a horde that swept through Boletaria and brought civilization to its knees. The Old One is a bottomless pit of nothingness with an insatiable appetite for souls, but it cannot collect souls itself. Imagine a tree with roots, leaves, and a core. The Old One is the trunk, the core of the tree. It spreads its roots into the lands full of humans, and the fog drains their souls. As a creature's soul diminishes, they become soul-starved, paranoid, insane, and full of rage. The mad attack the sane, and chaos prevails. The only way to stay sane is to collect souls, and so souls become the only valid currency in Boletaria. Those who feed on human souls or pledge themselves to the Old One become demons, reflecting myth and the person or thing that they were before. Take the major demon, Phalanx. It is the corrupted soul form of a longbow sniper, Ulan, who fought from a distance and never put her life on the line. A coward. And so, demons begin to take over, infecting the world, spreading the fog, and wiping out humanity. A man named Thomas lived near the palace with his wife and daughter before the scourge came. His equipment suggests that he was a hunter, and perhaps this is how he provided for his family. In the Nexus, however, he took up a new profession. I'm Stockpile Thomas. When the scourge came, I abandoned my wife and daughter and fled like a madman. When I came to, I was in the Nexus. I haven't dared venture outside these walls since. Sometimes I stop and wonder how I ended up in the Nexus in the first place. Why didn't I protect my wife and daughter, even if it meant being slain by the demons? <laughs> Please forgive me. I am over it now. With no formal combat training and no courage in the face of the demons, Tomas left his wife and daughter behind, instead fleeing from the scourge taking over the Boletarian palace. He accepts himself as weak and puts his hope instead into the demon slayers who venture outside the safe walls of the Nexus. This rejuvenating sanctorium is a fine place for the slayers of demons to rest their weary bones. I too must contribute how I can, for we are indebted to our honorable defenders. True to his new name, Stockpile Thomas lightens the loads of the demon hunters who come through the Nexus, looking after any excess baggage they might have until they return. What is the world like outside the Nexus? with brave souls like you confronting these vile demons. Perhaps it won't be long before things return to normal. At least that is what we are all praying for. He cannot know for sure whether his wife and daughter fell at the hands of the demons. Maybe they found refuge somewhere. Maybe they're being held prisoner. Thomas has no closure. Alas, his wife and daughter did die at the hands of the demons. You find two corpses suspended by chains from the side of a tower in the palace. On one of the bodies you find a jade hair ornament, which identifies her as Thomas's daughter. The other wears raggedy robes and carries fresh spice, a consumable item used by magicians. It's unknown why the demon singled out his family to be hung. Most corpses are left on the ground. Perhaps it's because they were women, or perhaps they were identified as witches and suffered at the hands of the fat ministers before their death. Either way, you return the hairpin to Thomas, confirming the death of his family. Th that hairpin... that belongs to my daughter. Then... she didn't make it after all. My dearest little baby, may she rest in peace. Poor Thomas can let go now with the knowledge that his wife and daughter are at peace. Nothing can be done for them, so the coward focuses on giving you his support, for you fight on his behalf. You're a saint. Thank you. Thank you so much. How do you do it? I can't imagine what it takes to slay a demon. If only I had that kind of strength. If only I could assist in this fight. 
You have a heart of gold. Don't let them take it from you. On the first day, man was granted a soul, and with it, clarity. For in man, great potential was seen. Yet, on the second day, upon earth was planted an irrevocable poison, a soul-devouring demon. For, like the demon, man had an insatiable, destructive appetite for souls, for power.